proper use of a microscope is required to ensure excellence in research and education, as well as quality patient service in the clinical laboratory. Today we will introduce you to the components of the AlphaFOT2 microscope. We will demonstrate the procedures required for operation, including the use of oil immersion objectives and preventive maintenance. The microscope is divided into six different regions. The oculars, the objective lenses, the specimen stage, the substage condenser, the focus controls, and the base. Let's look at each one in detail. The AlphaFold 2 provides two oculars, or eyepieces, for viewing the specimen. Note the rounded eyepieces are attached to the microscope binocular head. Loosen the clamp screw, rotate the head to the proper viewing position, and tighten the clamp screw to keep the head in place. Look for the 10x markings on the eyepieces, indicating that the image received is magnified by a power of 10. To adjust for focusing difference between the left and right eye, adjust the diopter ring on the left eyepiece. The interpupillary distance, or distance between your eyes, is adjusted by movement of the eyepiece tubes. Once adjusted, Note the setting on the interpupillary distance scale. Below the ocular region are the objective lenses. To bring a desired objective into place, rotate the revolving nose piece by firmly gripping the rubber knurled ring. Never swing the objectives into viewing position by grasping the objectives themselves as it may damage the objective. To locate your specimen area, use the low-power dry objectives, such as the 4X and 10X. The 40X dry objective is used for higher magnification. Immersion oil is required when using the higher magnification 100X objective. Nikon CFE Acromat objectives are used with the AlphaFold 2 microscope for standard bright field observation. They are used for routine microscopy, offering superb resolution, color correction, and crisp, high contrast images of the specimen throughout the high eye point wide field of view. Each objective is clearly marked with a colored ring, designating the magnification. On the microscope barrel, other specifications are listed, such as objective type, magnification, numerical aperture, which indicates the lens's light-gathering abilities, mechanical tube length, and cover glass thickness correction. Total magnification of your specimen image is obtained by multiplying the objective magnification times the eyepiece magnification. Below the objectives is our third region, the microscope specimen stage. A slide holder is attached to the stage to secure the specimen in place. Once secured, the specimen can be moved with the X and Y travel knobs below the stage. The focus region consists of two coaxial focus control knobs which allow you to focus your specimen by moving the stage down. The larger knob is the course control, which is used to bring your specimen into view. The smaller knob is the fine focus, which is used to bring your specimen into sharp focus. Adjacent to the XY travel knobs is the next region of the microscope, the condenser region. By moving the condenser focus knob, the condenser is moved vertically to focus the light onto the specimen slide. One to two millimeters below the slide will provide optimum illumination conditions. Loosening the condenser clamp screw on the right side of the condenser mount allows removal of the condenser or replacement with a different type.
Within the condenser is an aperture diaphragm, similar to the iris of a camera lens. The iris diaphragm controls the angle of light passing through the condenser. Closing down the diaphragm increases image contrast and depth of field, but may decrease the resolving capabilities of the objective lens. The last region of the microscope is the base region and contains both the power and illuminating sources. On the left side of the microscope base is the brightness control dial. In addition to turning the microscope on and off, it also adjusts the light intensity. Controlling both functions with one switch extends the life of the microscope lamp because the light intensity is at the lowest level before it is turned off. A 30 watt tungsten reflector bulb under the microscope base provides the illumination. In review, these are the six components of the Alpha Folk II microscope. The ocular region. The objective region. The stage region. The focusing region. The condenser region. the base region. The next step is to learn how to operate the microscope. With the specimen stage facing you, rotate the head of the microscope into viewing position. After plugging the power cord into an electrical outlet, turn the lamp on using the brightness control dial power switch. Place a slide on the stage with a cover slip facing up. Secure it with a slide holder. Move the condenser to approximately one to two millimeters below the specimen slide by turning the condenser focus knobs. Be sure the Alpha Photo 2 blue filter is in place to ensure proper color rendition. Place the specimen in the light path by using the stage X and Y travel knobs. Rotate the 4x or 10x objective into place and adjust the light intensity to a comfortable level with the brightness control dial. Adjust the interpupillary distance so that left and right images merge into one. Bring the specimen into viewing position. While watching the stage and objective, bring the specimen as close to the objective as possible by using the coarse focus knob. Now look through the eyepieces and use the coarse focus adjustment to bring the specimen into focus. Use the fine adjustment knob to sharpen the image. To make the proper diopter adjustment, close the left eye and focus the image to sharpness. Then, without touching the focus knobs, close the right eye and rotate the diopter tube on the left eyepiece until the image is sharp. Your right and left eyes should now see the image as sharp. Next, set the condenser diaphragm. On some microscopes, this is done by removing the right eyepiece and closing the diaphragm until three quarters of the tube is filled with light. Since your eyepieces are fastened in place, Use the alternate method by opening the condenser diaphragm to maximum. Slowly close the diaphragm until you begin to observe a decrease in light intensity. This maximizes your depth of field in contrast. Closing the diaphragm further may decrease resolution. In review, these are the steps to operate the Alpha Photo 2 microscope. One. Rotate the head into viewing position. Two, plug in the power cord and turn the microscope on. Three, place the slide on the microscope stage. Four, move the specimen into the light path. Five, rotate to the 4X or the 10X objective. Six, adjust the light intensity. 
7. Set the interpupillary distance. 8. Bring the image into sharp focus. 9. Adjust the diopter setting with left eyepiece. 10. Adjust the condenser diaphragm. Proper use of the oil immersion objective is necessary to ensure the best image, as well as prevent damage to the lens. Oil should never come into contact with any dry objective. Oil should never be placed on the specimen until the viewing area has been located with a lower power objective, such as the 40X. Use only the oil supplied with a microscope, as different oils may not provide the sharpest possible image. The following procedure should be adhered to when using the 100X oil immersion objective on the Alpha Photo 2 microscope. Use the 4X or 10X objective to select the viewing area. Rotate to the 40X to narrow down the specimen area. Now you are ready to use the 100X oil immersion objective. Rotate the 40X objective out of the light path. On the specimen, the beam of light illuminates a small area. Using this as a target, Remove air bubbles from the tip of the oil bottle and place a drop of oil on the slide. As you watch from the side of the microscope, rotate the 100X objective directly into the oil without allowing any of the dry objectives to come into contact with the oil. Moving in from the side such as this, rather than directly from the top, prevents the possibility of air bubbles becoming trapped between the objective and the immersion oil. Fine focus the specimen using the fine adjustment knob. Adjust the light intensity with the brightness control knob, since more light is required at higher magnifications. Remember to adjust the condenser diaphragm to allow for the increased resolving capacity of the oil objective. Once you have viewed your specimen under oil, it is necessary to completely clean all oil off the objective. Use the coarse focus knob to lower the stage. Rotate the objective to the front of the microscope and remove the excess oil by blotting the lens with soft, clean lens paper. With a new piece of lens tissue, dampened with one to three drops of methanol, clean the objective by starting at the center of the lens and moving in circular motions toward the outside of the lens. Dispose of the lens paper after use. This procedure should be repeated until all oil is removed. To finish cleaning, blot the lens dry with a new piece of lens tissue. Never rub the lens, as any foreign particles that may be present will scratch the surface of the lens. Finally, clean your specimen slide with lens tissue or other available laboratory tissue. Let's review the steps of oil immersion observation. 1. Select the viewing area with a 4X or 10X objective. 2. Narrow the field of observation with a 40X objective. 3. Rotate the 40X out of the light path. 4. After removing bubbles, drop an oil droplet on the beam of light. 5. Rotate in the 100X oil objective and move from side to side. 6. Fine focus. 7. Adjust the light intensity to a comfortable level. 8. Adjust the condenser diaphragm. 9. Observe the specimen. 10. Clean oil from the lens and slide. So far, you have learned the components of the Alpha Photo 2 microscope and how to achieve optimum viewing performance. When transporting the microscope, grasp the microscope arm with one hand while supporting the base with the other. When the microscope is not in use, 
it should be covered or placed in its protective case. Care will prevent dust from settling on the optics or in the slideways and gears of the stage.